cool find in the food forest this morning, everybody. Let's check it out. This is the south side of my house, the side yard. Though it's the south side, it is not the sunny side because of all these large oak trees we have here. Underneath, we have a garden bed that contains an American hazelnut. There's actually two of them in there. We have ostrich plume ferns, which have edible fiddleheads early in the spring. There are some ramps that come up in very early spring planted under those. And the May apples have fruit on them. So that is pretty cool. There's some unripe May apple fruit. But over here, this morning I spotted it, we have the ghost pipe entered the chat. Yes. So I had noticed the ghost pipe come up here in this space last year and I really, really hoped that it was gonna come back and it has uh, ghost pipe uh, blue come up from June to September in shady forest situations you can see that these plants they're perennial plants so they do come back and they are completely white they do have one flower on each stem and they typically come up in clusters there's no chlorophyll involved it's not a mushroom it is a plant but it survives not because of photosynthesis but because it has a symbiotic relationship with mycorrhizal fungi in the forest floor and it saps nutrients from the plants around it via this fungi. So what's planted around it? We have the may apple right there. Uh, there are some seedlings from the oak trees that are coming up. And then there's this dewberry that came up all on its own as well. So we, we do have a variety of plants that come up around it. And there are the wood chips in the pathways throughout my food forest that kind of help the fungal nature of the soil here because we are very, very sandy. Now I did have ghost pipe elsewhere in the yard. It was kind of in the back behind me in that corner. There were more trees, more oaks back there in that section of the yard. The stand didn't of ghost pipe that I found, it didn't come back. I think it. I had noticed it maybe the second or third year that we were here in this property and we had recently cleared a few trees in the backyard. When we exposed that area to light, it was no longer right plant, right place and it didn't come back the next year. But these guys are really happy in this shady spot with good fungal activity in the soil. I'm so happy to see them and I'm glad that I could share it with you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, like the video and join me for all my garden updates.